Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's late November 2019 and the F-16C now has its basic data link capability. We're going to go through it briefly and if in the future extra functionality is added, then we'll produce a new video. First things first, setting up the data link. Ensure that mid switch is on. Data link switch does not have to be on here and will never have to be on. Next is the ICP and the DED. We go list and you can see there enter is data link so enter and this is the setup of the data link this is page one so here we've got the gps time reference we've got the pilot enter time the network time reference and the network synchronized status now as far as we can figure out you'll never need to change any of this but it's there and if you want a better description you can just pause that and read that there if we want to change these then we use the dcs daba to go up and down and we can enter whatever we need to enter. You want to go to page two, the DABA sequence. This is page two. We've got the fighter channel selection, the mission channel selection, the surveillance channel selection. We've got the call sign, that is our call sign. We've got our flight lead identifier, which is a yes or a no, and the transmission power of our mids. These three here, it says basically should never be changed. Call sign can be changed if you want to for some reason. Flight leader can be changed if you want for some reason. And the power can be changed if you want. Usually by default, this is all gonna be set up for you. So you won't really need to do anything. If for instance, we wanted to change our flight number, we can see that it is ED11. And that relates to us. If we click here, we are indeed Enfield ED11. One, one. Next, we're going to go to page three. Daba sequence, page three. Flight member track numbers here and own flight position here. Again, these guys here should all be set up automatically and you shouldn't have to do anything. Own flight position should be set up automatically, but you can change that, I believe, if you want. And you can see I'm 206. It's my own ship and I'm number one. There's no one else in my flight. And that's it. If I sequence again, we're back to page one. Let's get rid of that. Next, we're going to show a basic example of using the data link. Before that, we need to understand what the symbology means. So if we're looking at the data link track symbols, the first thing to specify is that these tracks, these symbols are split into two main categories, uncorrelated and correlated. Uncorrelated means that one or more of the data link donors on your Link16 data link are seeing the target, are seeing a track, and that is shown by these symbols here, which are hollow here and here. The second is a correlated symbol or a correlated track. That is if one or more third party donor to your Link16 network is seeing them and you with your onboard radar are seeing them as well. That means you are correlating what the other guys are seeing and if you correlate it then they go solid. So back to the top, what different types of symbols look like if they are being surveyed by an AWACS or an EWR hostile and you can see that is his vector that is the shape for a hostile and a red color for hostile at an angels of 31 ASL if his coalition is unknown that is his vector that is the shape angels 25 if he's suspect I think they call it ambiguous in the hornet then it's going to be yellow and if it's a friendly is going to be that shape and that color if they are being highlighted by donor fighters in your data link, we get exactly the same symbology. PPLI, so this is showing other members that are contrib contributing to your data link known as PPLIs. This is a wingman, it's going to be blue, it's going to have his wingman number in, so this is number two, his vector and his altitude. This is going to be another donor, so this could be an AWACS or it could be like an F-15 in another flight that is contributing to your Link 16 network. Now we have the correlated version. So this is with the addition of you, your onboard sensors, seeing and correlating these tracks. So a hostile is exactly the same, except it's just a solid filled in triangle and so on. That's what our Wingman 2 would look like. That's what a donor in our Link 16 is going to look like. So let's apply that to a real life situation. Here is my mission. I've linked this mission in the video description so you guys can download that and try this if you want. Just a very simple mission. Here is me. Here is another guy, an F-15, who is on my Link 16 network. Here he's a donor. Here is another donor. This is Overlord, an E3 AWACS, who again is on my Link 16 network. Here are three generic bad guys. They're not going to fight me. They're just going to fly around and be bad guys. 
tires, here is an SA6, here is an SA, uh, SA6 and SA3, sorry. Fire control radar, currently set to range while scan. Increase our range and I always like to fight with an azimuth of 30 and our HSD here. First things that we can see in the current configuration is the SA3 lethal range, the SA6 lethal range. We can see our non-correlated donor, that's our F15. For some reason he's at angel zero, which must be either he's bugged or he is angel zero. For some reason he is angel zero, I haven't told him to do that, but there you go. Here is an uncorrelated hostile heading hot at Angels 12. Two more uncorrelated hostiles heading towards me at Angels 16. That is my own ship there. If I were to zoom out somewhat, I could see that is another donor with a dot in the middle, friendly, and that is obviously going to be my AWACS. So we're going to move through this example and show how we can correlate and uncorrelate these targets here out of interest waypoint one there waypoint one there here is our fcr what we can see here is that we can see him him and him with our own radar you can see that because it's got the white tracks there and that's overlaid with information from the data link which is the triangles and we can see this guy here in data link only but no we can't see him with our own radar there's no white track there next thing i want to show is that if we slew our razor radar azimuth left and right it will also show on the accompanying HSD. If I unpause, sorry about all the pausing and unpausing, it's just something I have to do. So you can see exactly what my radar is showing. If I were to bug one of these guys in RWS, so that's TMS up, you can see that now I'm bugging him, he's turned to a correlated hostile. That's because now this guy can see him, the AWAX donut, the F-15 cannot see him because the F-15 is on the run for some reason. I don't know why, it must be French. And I am seeing him. I've got him bugged, so it's now a correlated hostile. Now let's change to track while scan, and things will work a little differently with track while scan. So I'm going to unbug. I'm going to go track while scan. I'm going to do 30. And the track while scan is, if you like, highlighting all three of these. All three of these are now correlated, and we'll see here. Note sometimes there is a delay in the time it takes to correlate and uncorrelate, and this guy is uncorrelated because I'm not highlighting him. Um, let me try. This may or may not work because this guy probably can't see him with my radar. I'm just going to try anyway. If I move so that I can no longer see these two guys, watch what happens. Again, it may be a delay. It takes a, uh, it takes a few seconds to delay. These two are no longer correlated because the only thing that is highlighting them is the donor AWACS. The F-15 is not. I can still see this guy. And the reason this guy has not become cor correlated is because he's so far away, so low, my radar simply can't see him. That's pretty much all I want to show for the moment, to be honest. But I'll head towards these guys and just do some more generic dynamic manipulation. I'm going to make all of them correlated. You can see that all three are now correlated. They're solid. And if I just want like that, I cut that guy off. That guy will become uncorrelated. Also, quickly to point out, we do have a filter on here. We, on the HSD, we can show all friendlies on here. We can filter out all friendlies apart from our flight members that doesn't work at the moment you can see that guy should be filtered out but fl will when it works only show our flight members that guy there and off all friendlies are filtered off it's just something to use there that's all i want to show at the moment there is extra functionality regards locking guys up so in the flight manual and in wags's latest video he showed that if members of your flight including ourselves were to bug targets then a cyan dotted line would show which of our flight members was bugging which target this is helpful for target assignment we've tried it for hours literally hours today we cannot get it to work we've talked to other guys on the internet they can't get it to work so it may be bugged at the moment or we may be doing something wrong probably it will be fixed soon and this will work so just bear in mind that once it's fully working bugging targets will show dotted lines from flight members like that that's all i've got to show for the moment i hope that was useful and see you later